National Yoga Olympiad organized by NCERT from 18th to 20th June 2018. Namaste. Dr. Uh, Roshikesh Senapati, Director NCRT. Dr. Saroj uh, Yadav, Dean Academic NCRT. Professor Amarendra Behera, Joint Director CIET NCRT. Major Harsh Kumar, Secretary NCRT. My Bahet Prasanhu, Ap Sab Logon, Kai Beach's Yoga Olympiad. Divas K. Parvpur. Ye Divas Ap K. Pradhan Mantri Shri Modi Ji Ki Koshishka Natijahe. I first want to uh, tell you that I had the, the privilege in 2015 of uh, organizing the visit of Sri Narendra Modi to uh, UNESCO headquarters uh, in Paris. And I remember very well that he spoke that day uh, after I introduced him to a, a cheering audience, overflow audience, I would say also, on uh, the first ever visit to UNESCO in Paris by a Prime Minister of India. And uh, among the uh, other uh, elements in his speech, he emphasized in particular the importance of uh, India's relationship to UNESCO, of course, and he also promoted the uh, Indian-born practice of yoga. He said uh, on that day, and just to give, him, give you one quote from his speech, yoga awakens a sense of oneness and harmony with self, society, and nature. Since uh, that day, and again at the initiative of uh, India, you may know that uh, yoga was inscribed on 2016, in 2016, on uh, UNESCO's representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. I'm not sure if you're uh, familiar with this list, but only uh, elements that are valued all over the world can be inscribed on this list. Therefore, yes, yoga has become a long time ago, but uh, it was inscribed in, in, uh, in stone in 2016 has become truly universal. Uh, the elements inscribed on this UNESCO list are passed along not only over time, uh, but also from generation to generation, and they are shared between groups across space and around the world. Created in uh, 1945, UNESCO's uh, DNA, in fact, uh, bears the imprint also of such world leaders as uh, Mahatma Gandhi, himself, of course, inspired by the spirit of yoga, and uh, who supported the organization's essential goal, which is to deepen the intellectual and moral solidarity of humanity, guided by mutual respect and understanding as the basis for lasting peace. And India, of course, as the birthplace of yoga, has a unique position in uh, pursuing happiness, well-being, and mindfulness in and through education. And this is where I would like really to uh, commend the uh, Ministry of Human Resource Development through NCERT, which is uh, taking uh, a series of uh, multi-dimensional initiatives for the holistic group of students. And we've just uh, heard uh, how important uh, it is and how much you place it uh, at the center of your strategy. I know that uh, India's national curriculum framework adopted in 2005 highlighted in particular yoga as an essential component of education and that it has been integrated into the, the health and physical education curriculum. I see all of uh, the textual materials that you have uh, developed and I would like to uh, congratulate uh, all of you, in particular Professor Saroj uh, Yadav and her team for their continuous efforts in developing these uh, materials. I also want to congratulate uh, all of you for the organization of this uh, Olympiad. It's always particularly gratifying for us at UNESCO to see young people, children and youth uh, involved in these activities. It is uh, making a big difference. And yes, UNESCO for one recognizes the clear potential of yoga for education because our organization 
uh, like uh, the ministry and NCRT, believe that uh, schools must provide an environment conducive to learning where children feel physically and mentally safe, encouraged sometimes to learn from uh, uh, their mistakes. And in all of our recommendations, we suggest to policymakers around the world that children must be recognized and respected for their multiple talents beyond academic excellence. Of course, academic achievement is the main uh, purpose of school attendance. It has to be measured by standardized tests and expressed in, in grades. But we've also seen through UNESCO research in particular <laughs> that uh, even low or moderate levels of stress can interfere with a pupil's performance. That's why uh, uh, meditation, which uh, of course is part of yoga, can help and reach a more serene mind conducive to learning. So promoting the introduction of yoga in curriculum and pedagogy in schools, uh, we believe, yes, will improve the students' uh, mental, emotional, physical and behavioral health. And we have a number of studies uh, to that effect. Dear uh, friends, if I may say, uh, in this overall context, I'm here to tell you that uh, UNESCO considers that uh, the, this Yoga Olympiad as an invitation to peace through the prospect of a holistic and healthy lifestyle is a very welcome and useful initiative. It is surely also an opportunity for all of you to uh, celebrate humanism and the aspiration and of all women and men, girls and boys, to live in harmony with themselves, with others, and with the planet. I wish you all a successful three days of uh, healthy and peaceful Yoga Olympiad and look forward very much. I'm still new in India. I arrived less than a month ago, but I look forward very much to working with the, the Ministry of Human Resource Development and NCRT to make education meaningful and schools happier places for learning. So let me wind up with the Upanishadic prayer. Om Sahano Vavatu, Sahano Bunaktu, Saha Viryam Karavavai, Tishasvi Novaditam Astu Ma Vidvis Havahai, Om Shanti Shanti Shantihi. Thank you very much. National Yoga Olympiad, organized by NCERT from 18th to 20th June 2018.